Notre Dame held practice number nine of spring football, and I can't believe it, but uh, just five practices left, and then this spring game on May 1st, all covered right here at blueandgold.com. Before we get into today's practice clips, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to our blueandgold.com YouTube channel if you're not yet. Go to the website for all of your Notre Dame football content, and away we go. So first, we're going to go through the four scholarship quarterbacks here in these opening clips. Uh, you got Jack Cohn snapped um, by Zeke Carell, thrown out to Lorenzo Styles. Of course, guys, Brendan Clark is out this spring um, as he is recovering from an injury. Andrew Kristoffic snapping to Drew Pine, who throws a quick little hitch route out to Kyron Williams as the team is warming up. And there's freshman quarterback Tyler Buckner. Uh, Snapped by uh, uh, Dylan Gibbons, thrown out to Braden Lindsay on the snap. Uh, excuse me, on the slant. Um, Z Carell snaps to Ron Paulus the third and throws out a little hitch to Chris Tyree. And here's a look at true freshman cornerback Ryan Barnes. Um, you see his impressive length. Uh, I think he, he might be um, a year or two away, uh, but have high expectations for Ryan Barnes. Here's Houston Griffith. Uh, safety for the Fighting Irish going through a drill. The receiver there is actually another safety, um, Eddie Scheidler from Illinois. Quick little drill here with the offensive lineman. You got Josh Lug and Dylan Gibbons. You'll see Gibbons um, double teaming with Lug, and then he gets off to the next defender. And the next couple of clips here, um, some seven-on-seven -seven work. Um, here's a look at Joe Wilkins, um, Jack Cohn uh, dropping back. Taking a look at his options, and he is going to throw um, to the back of the end zone. So maybe the, one of the more impressive receivers on the team right now, certainly in these clips sent to us by Notre Dame, Joe Wilkins. Um, he gets his feet in bounds with Cam Hart in coverage. A really interesting play here uh, in 7-on-7. Seven seven. Drew Pine uh, throws a pass over to Kane Barag, who makes a nice snag. But the heads-up play by Isaiah Pryor to steal the ball away from Barong. It goes from uh, a touchdown to an interception uh, in the blink of an eye. Really nice play by the former Ohio State safety. Camera's actually going to get faked out here, but you will see Bo Bauer knifing past Andrew Kristoffic to make a really nice tackle for loss on the play. Chris Tyree, the running back. He even looked like an RPO. You saw George Takis kind of run out to the flats at the, at the beginning of the play. So in, interesting play there uh, and a really nice one made by Bo Bauer. A uh, quick look at this offensive line unit here. We'll go from the right side to the left side. The tackle, Josh Lug on the left side of your screen. Right guard is Andrew Kristoffic, center Z Carell, left guard. Rocco Spindler and left tackle Tosh Baker. Um, you see George Takis um, in motion as the tight end. And uh, Jack Cohn's going to hand off here uh, to Chris Tyree, who uh, gets uh, some nice blocking on the left side of the line by Spindler and Baker. And Tyree picks up about 17 yards or so um, and a nice pickup uh, for the Notre Dame offense. We're going to see a little play action here. Jack Cohn fakes the handoff to Chris Tyree. Cohn's going to do a little half roll out to his right, uh, sets up, and uh, throws a look, it looks like a pretty pass here um, down to Avery Davis. Uh, but number 16, K.J. Wallace, makes a nice play on the ball. Uh, might have looked like even uh, Davis should have had that one, but uh, a good coverage there by K.J. Wallace. Uh, and here's Cohn. Um, of, Play action with Chris Tyree. Pocket's going to collapse here, but Cohn gets it out just in time. Uh, delivers a confidence strike to Michael Mayer. That's really good coverage by Houston Griffith, but Michael Mayer is just too darn good. I can't overstate how good the rising sophomore tight end um, has been. And talking to sources, obviously seeing him last season, he is one um, incredible player. On this play here, uh, Riley Mills and John Dirksen are battling. Looks like Riley Mills kind of beats them, but uh, I think John Dirksen might uh, be holding Mills a little bit there. But nonetheless, Tyree gets around the uh, right side uh, before he is tackled by linebacker Marist Lufau. Looks like a third team um, grouping here, uh, more so on the offense. Uh, Tyler Buckner um, hands off to Chase Ketterer. 
um, who breaks a, uh, a J.D. Bertrand tackle. This is live tackling here. They're not just uh, thumping like we saw more on Tuesday's practice. And uh, Chase Ketterer finds a seam um, and picks up a, a nice gain tackled there by number 16, K.J. Wallace. And let's get some look at uh, some punt returners. Brian Pullian talked about some candidates here. I, I wanted to say Braden Lindsay uh, was someone he did not mention. But Braden Lindsay getting some punt return action. You saw Lorenzo Styles standing behind him. Here's number 13. Team Lawrence Keys. It does seem like Notre Dame um, is going to put someone other than Matt Solorano back there this season um, as the punt returner. Um, KJ Wallace, we've talked about a good bit in this video. Here he is. I believe this is a special teams drill. You see Devin Alpew, Jordan Batelho. Uh, I believe that's Caleb Offord down the bottom of the screen, but they're, they're featuring uh, Caleb Offord here. Excuse me, uh, KJ Wallace there uh, with Jay Burnell. Back to some 7-on-7 seven seven real quick. Uh, Tyler Buckner uh, is going to throw a little bit of double, double clutch there, but he's going to throw uh, and look at this extension there by Maris Lufai. Talk about those long arms and length, what it can do for you, and that's a really nice play on the ball. Looks like that uh, Buckner pass was intended for uh, Jay Brunel pine in at quarterback here. Uh, I have been so impressed with the, with what we've seen from Drew Pine. Again, this is just a clip sent to us by Notre Dame, but he throws a really pretty ball, and he seems to have really good chemistry with Joe Wilkins, and uh, number 18 there catches the pass with Clarence Lewis in coverage. And back to 11-on-11 11 11 work. Jack Cohn getting really good protection from the left side of the line, uh, but maybe not so much on the other side um, as Isaiah Foskey beats Josh Lugg. Um, and we'll, we'll credit uh, Mr. Foskey with the sack there. And r keep an eye on Rocco Spindler here. Um, doesn't have anyone to block, uh, but keeps looking, keeps looking, sees Jordan Batelho um, getting past uh, its tight end George Takis, and Spindler delivers the boomstick um, on Batelho, uh, creates a wide open running lane. Uh, for Jack Cohn, uh, not the speediest guy, but he picks up several yards there before uh, the play ends. Cohn's going to get some good protection here. Um, you see Baker and Spindler and looks like Zeke Carell um, lug on the play. and uh, He's going to deliver a confident pass um, into a tight window. Uh, Tack is, and he threads the needle there. DJ Brown and Bo Bauer in coverage. Once again, um, some clean protection. Cone is going to fire a pass out to Avery Davis near the right sideline um, with Clarence Lewis in coverage. Once again, folks, we're, we're going to play the full speed video at the end here. Uh, so just a couple more plays. Um, Jack Cone, 11 on 11 works. See Tosh Baker uh, battling with Isaiah Foskey um, on the left side of the offensive line. But Cone's going to throw to Joe Wilkins. And look at that play by Tariq Bracey. Great coverage, great play on the ball. Hoping that Tariq Bracey takes the next step in his game. He had a really promising 2019 season team to seem to take a step back in 2020 as he was beat out for that field corner position by Clarence Lewis. But hoping Tariq Bracey um, gets back into uh, the uh, maybe the start. Starting lineup this season. In the last clip here, Jonathan Dwower, you don't actually see uh, the ball and whether it goes through the uprights or not. But just kind of uh, looking at the reaction here um, by uh, the, the, uh, the offense, uh, they, they, they seem pretty excited. Um, so uh, Drew Pine, as always, um, if he's not a starting quarterback this season, you know, I think Drew Pine is, is certainly going to be a, a good cheerleader. He's always coming over and, and celebrating with his team. As always, guys, we're going to go ahead and play the full three minutes of the B-roll that Notre Dame sent to the media before you get out of here. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. It really helps. I can't and overstate that enough, just how much hitting the thumbs up helps support our channel. Go to blueandgold.com for all of your Notre Dame football coverage as well.